but so let's talk about what people do not talk about um, in trucking and in business and money so and now you don't have to be four five six seven eight years in the business like this can be and should be part of your business plan um, your exit strategy right so you're gonna be a truck driver and a business owner for a while but that while only gonna last so long right so what's your retirement plan what's your savings plan what's your um, after trucking plan and I know you say well hot shot I ain't even started yet what about that well think about it this way so you start that as a 401k um, as a retirement plan you know you start investing in like some blue chip stocks and maybe some crypto and you know stuff like that well let's say you start that on day one or you start that at 25 years old because you can start that without being a business owner and something happens let's say god forbid you're diagnosed with something or truck goes down or for some reason you got to get out of the industry well you have something to fall back on other than just what's in your bank account because you've been running like you've been putting money in your robin hood account and investing you've been saving in acorns and investing you've been using weeble and investing you know um so now you may have Twenty, thirty thousand dollars in there that you do not touch. Don't touch it unless something like I'm explaining right now happens and it's an emergency. Like if you're broke, and I say broke in quotations because broke doesn't mean like you're poor. But if you're broke, you don't take your money out of your investments. Um, if the truck breaks down. You don't really clean out your investments, you know? Um, but guys, that is something that no one talks about. And there's options. There's Roth IRA. There's SEP IRA. You can start your own 401k. Um, you know, and stuff like that. That um, you need to look in and research. And a reason I'm not going into them heavy right now is because... I don't want anybody to take what I say as financial advice. So I will probably do a video breaking everything down in the future, but for right now, if you're planning your business or you're in your business, add that to the back of your mind. So if you make $2,000 a week, you put 10%, 200 bucks in this account, this investment account. Or let's say you go lower and you only want to do 100 bucks. Put something in there because that money can grow. Now you can lose. If you do it wrong, you can lose. Don't get it twisted. Um, and you you can do it for like a, a big gains or you can go into blue chip stocks with dividend drip and you know just constantly stay in those stocks that you know aren't going nowhere Amazon 3M Coca-Cola Pepsi you know all that big stuff Apple Microsoft stuff like that um, you don't have to play the stock market you know you can just Put it into that stuff now you're not going to get a huge return on investment um doing it that way but it will work it will save you money or and you know it's something for the future and that's what we need to worry about the future um because your trucking career ends when trucking says it ends if that makes sense you know so 
I, I don't hear anybody talk about that, you know, because nobody thinks about it. Um, but that is definitely something to think about because look around. Do you want to be one of them 70, 80 year old truck drivers? And God bless their soul. They're out here working harder than um, a lot of young men I know. But <clears throat> do you personally want to be that guy? So, like I said, just something else to think about, something else to work on, something else to do, you know. Um, and uh, another way to um, diverge yourself or uh, diverse your, yourself and your income. So, hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have in the comments. There's gonna be um, a link to my to my Weeble and my um, Robin Hood. The the links. You know, if you put a hundred dollars in Weeble, then we both you, you get two free stocks. Um, so, guys, think about it. Do your research and invest in something, even if it's not the stock market. Invest in something that can pay you back. Even if you find a, um, which I don't recommend, but a uh, interest bearing savings account. The interest is usually so low that you're pretty much just lending your money for free. So, um, another thing to think about, another part of business owners, business ownership that people don't think about and realize. So, Hope this helped a little bit. You know, planted a couple seeds. If you have any questions, holla at your boy. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding ding. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.